What is up guys, Off Nerd Show here and today we're looking at these DC Multiverse Super Friends set. So this is a four pack of the Super Friends, so it's the DC Multiverse. We'll go ahead and just turn around here so you can see the first character. So this first one is Green Lantern, of course. And so here on the back you can see all the different characters. So this is supposed to go back to like probably the 60s or 70s at least for the Super Friends. So all these characters are going to kind of look older, more cheesy and stuff, like especially Aquaman. As you can see, so as this, you can see this set has Green Lantern, Batman. Batman, Superman, and Aquaman. And so they're just the DC Multiverse set. They don't come with any like Build-A-Figure set, but they do have like a this, uh, stand like to display them on and a little picture that kind of can go with each character and stuff. So we're going to just go ahead and go through each, and open each one of these um, to see what they look like and what they changed on them and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up here we have the Batman from this Super Friend set. So this looks like, as I said, is like the old school, old school classic Batman. I don't know if this was like from the 60s or the 70s. I somewhat feel 70s, but I can't remember for sure what the Super Friends was from. But I really like this Batman. So he's in the blue and gray outfit, which is the outfit I like a lot for Batman. So he's got the all gray, as you can see, like outfit there. And then he's got the blue trunks, the blue gloves, the blue uh, cowl here, and the cape. Which, these capes are kind of weird. They're fabric and it's always um, cut the same way for Batman. Where it's always got like the chunks taken out of it. But I don't like the way they did the like uh, up here around the cow where it's supposed to have like a collar. So it's this real thick piece of fabric all the way around their neck and then attached onto the body to give it the cape. Um, I don't think it looks that bad though. Uh, but it, I do not like it. I wish they would have done something different. Not added this big fat part. And it's kind of hard. So there's something in there that they attached it to. Um, but so here's a look at the face. So it has the blacked out part that I assume to be like shadowing because the classic or er, Batman always has like the blacked out part on the face like for shadows or whatever. Then it's got the classic Batman logo there that I really like the yellow and black logo. He's got his utility belt with nothing on it and unfortunately it doesn't hold anything which we'll look at in a second. Then he's got his boots and like I said the gloves here which have the spikes on it that Batman always uses to fight with. So there's the Batman, and he does come with some weapons, so he does have a battering here, so you can probably take a battering and stick it in his hand if you want. Oh, as he falls down. Some of these characters don't stand up very well, so there's the Batman. And then he also has, which I kind of tore apart here, the bat grapple or grappling hook. So it's like a gun here, and so it has the grapple on top that you can just sit and sit into the thing. There's a peg there that you can see, and it kind of sits there, or it can come undone, and the string can come out so it looks like it's grappling. So you can put that in his hand as well, which it probably won't go in there very much. So Batman comes with that. And then he does have his stand, so here's a picture. I really like these pictures. And so this is a piece of, like, cardboard, but it's pretty thick, so it doesn't. it's not that flimsy. But, I mean, it's cardboard, so it can get um, pretty messed up. But so there's a picture of the Batman there. As you can see, that's what he looks like in the comic version. I like the way the color they did on this and like made it holographic type thing. And so there's the base that says Super Friends. So you can take Batman, obviously, find the peg and stick him on there however you want to to make him pose him around. And then on the back it does say, as you can see there, so I assume if you put these all together they will say Super Friends. And I think that's pretty cool. I just like this a lot. I like the look of the characters with their old classic style looks and then the background pictures as well, the way they looked and colored them and designed and everything goes. So that's it for the Batman. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. So next up here is Superman. So as you can see, he's in his very classic Superman look that they kind of avoid nowadays because of his red underwear. Um, but so here he's all in his red and blue glory with the um, red and yellow S there on his chest, as you can see, which stands for hope, not anything like Superman or anything. He does have the cape there as well, of course, with the S on the back, and he's just got the straight cut off cape because he's so much fancier but he does have the same kind of neck color which does not look good on him like in the picture let's see if I can pull him up here um, so in the picture on the box here as you can see it kind of has like the collar around his neck I assume that's what it's supposed to be but it just does not look very good it's just way too thick and heavy around his face or head so here's his face it doesn't look like any character really it doesn't even look like the character on the box but he does have his um, hair curl that sticks down there in his face away from his hair and stuff like all loose and everything and he's all muscular and stuff because he's superman and he, like so he's got his red um, like underwear trunk things he does have a belt on with him a gold belt there holding him up and then his red boots to go along with it so he has some issues standing up 
And then we have his picture. So there's again the picture of the classic looking Superman. As you can see along there. And then on the back it's got the friends part and the base there. So you can obviously stick him on the base too. He doesn't pose very well. Like I tried to do his classic pose with his hands on his waist. But you can't get it to do it. So there is Superman. And next up here we have Green Lantern. So I assume this is supposed to be the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Which is kind of like the classic one they go to. Because it doesn't look like any of the others. He doesn't have the red hair so it's not Guy Gardner. And Hal Jordan's like the most prevalent uh, character. So I assume that's who this one's supposed to be. So this one, um, he doesn't look that cool. <laughs> Green Lantern usually doesn't look that cool. But as you can see he does have his hand up with his Green Lantern ring there on. It's kind of hard to... Focus there, the ring there on his finger, the logo there on his chest with the lantern design. He's got his green mask on to cover his identity because he doesn't want anyone to know who he is. And then his green and black outfit there. I like the way though they did the green and then all the black and stuff. I like the um, whole design and everything. One thing I didn't mention, I didn't mention really like any of the stuff. They are quite movable, so they have big muscle joints. You know, they move their elbows, their hands can spin around, their heads can move. He does have the like ab rotation so you can like kind of bend him around and stuff to get different things. Um, and then of course they have the normal like uh, leg joints that move back and forth. But then they also have these weird like side joints which I've never noticed these characters um, have that before. Because usually you know here it's a ball and socket joint so it can just move around with the ball. But this time it has you know forward and back and then this side the side piece that I think is kind of cool. And then um, bend of course knee joints. The legs can spin around as you can see. Oh, I broke his leg. And then just a normal straight back and forward motion there for the leg. So it has a lot of posability. There, um, some of them have issues standing up just because their their uh, legs got bent in the package. So like down here, their feet will be all bent, all weird and stuff, and so it doesn't allow them to stand up. That's what kind of happened with the Batman and the Superman. But so here's his picture. So there he is flying into action as Green Lantern. You can see the. Um, glowing of his ring there and of course the base with the super friends and then the back picture the last part of the friends because they're all friends now let's get him on the base so there is the green lantern and last but not least we have aquaman here so this is the aquaman that people always like to make fun of and don't like but i think this actually looks kind of cool it's very cheesy though but i think it looks cool so here we have aquaman it looks like he's made his face maybe isn't the best he's got like some dirtiness on him or something but we have aquaman here arthur curry and so here he's like his classic look with his weird dopey looking face and his blonde hair so of course not the jason momo version with the dark uh, long dark hair but then he's got his funny looking orange outfit with all the designs, which is what the Captain America classic Captain America outfit has these sort of designs going all throughout the chest area. But he has it there on the shirt to kind of show the design. It's supposed to be, you know, like fish scales or something going on there. And then, of course, he's got his belt with the Aquaman logo there on it and his black trunks going into his green legs, which he also has the green gloves to go along with it. And they have some sort of design going into there and so again a bunch of articulation um, he probably stands the best out of all of them oh and I forgot to point out on his legs he does have the fins there on the back probably to help him swim or to go along with him to swim so there we've got Aquaman and of course you don't have Aquaman without the trident so he does have the trident which I doubt I can probably get in his hand right now oh well um, so he does have the trident as well which you always have to have with Aquaman because that's how he gets his powers and stuff from the ocean and then here is his picture um, he doesn't have the trident in the picture, which I think would have been cool, but there he's just like running along, looking exactly like he does in the picture there, and then we have the last part of Franz, the super rich part there. And so that's going to be it for Aquaman. So that's going to be it for this DC multi-first set of the Super Friends. Of course, we had Aquaman, Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern. So that's it for this set. I do believe they are making some more Super Friends, but that's um, all that comes in this set. You know, of course, I assume they're going to do like a Wonder Woman and stuff, but that's just all that they have for now. I did want to show off lastly, though, that in the back of each box, it does have a picture here of the Hall of Justice, which is the Justice League's like headquarters. 
type thing. Um, that kind of just is where they gather and group and all sorts of stuff for the Justice League meetings and everything. But that's going to be it for this set. I think these look cool a lot with their it's the stands and the pictures and stuff. I was going to have them all turned around, but then, you know, just say Super Friends. And since they don't sit close enough together to look like the words, it's just kind of all weird. But that's going to be it for this unboxing and review. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which of these four characters is your favorite. Or which one you don't like, which will, for a lot of people will probably be Aquaman. But go ahead and do that for me. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.